brisk approaches. You should get home soon. And like, look at how cool it actually turns into dusk. This game is amazing, man. Also, just like, I dallied a little bit in RPG Maker at one point because I like had an idea in my head and I was like, I'm going to make a game. How hard can it be? The answer is hard. <laughs> like, I quit pretty quickly. Um, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a time. I don't know why I keep expecting that interaction to be different. It, it clearly won't be unless I do something. Oh, it suddenly it's daylight inside. Okay. Here are your Marion Bells, Ma. Fair lovely. Oh my, how quickly the day has slipped away. Yeah, you used up my whole day. Time for bed, dear. Let me just sleep over here, I guess. Dude, this is so awkward. There's literally no separation between my bed, or like my room and their room. Like, mom and dad better not be getting freaky. Where is the priestess demon? She's dead, sire. You lie! <laughs> I see her in my dreams. But sire, I struck her down. Fool! Perhaps it is for the best. I have changed my mind. I would prefer her to live. I do not understand, sire. Death is but a swift escape. I want the priestess to suffer. A slave suffers a lifetime. So you shall have her enslaved, sire? But how? I have a new servant who wishes to become a deva. He knows the land where the priestess has fled to. He wishes to be one of us, sire? He must be dark indeed. Damon, da Damien, show yourself. Yes, a sun priest. Better, a druid, the sun guardian. Better? How, I can't do that, man, my voice. How can this be better? Are you not afraid that he will destroy us? The sun god has betrayed me. I work against him now. I know a slave trader who will find the priestess a harsh master. My mother will get what she deserves. Arim and Ives. Can you see where this is going? Oh, she gone! Oh, hi, sweetie. Hello, ma'am. How are you feeling today? Good morning, chosen one. Er, whatever. The woman is obviously a nutter. So, daddy says he knows you. Your father, yes, we knew each other from a long time ago. Child, I have something for you. Take this. It will offer you protection. You receive priestess ring. Please, child, keep the ring on at all times. This is very important. Ren leaves the ring on. The strange woman's request is silly but compelling. Who are you? I'm a priestess from a land far away, and I have come to protect you. But <laughs> I don't need protecting. We shall talk more tomorrow. Keep the ring close. Okay. I want to get into this damn chest, because I can't remember what's in it. <gasps> Good morning, lass. Are you enjoying the festival? Hi, Ren. Hey, Danny. Where's that strange woman your pa brought into town? We're all so eager to know more about her. Same. Happy spring equinox, Ren. Good morning, Ren. Don't you agree that the maple is lovely this year? La 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 la. Me too. Do I have an objective? No. What do you have to say? Good afternoon, child. Can I get you anything? You've come just in time. I just finished baking a batch of bread. What can I get for you? Well, I have no money, so apparently nothing. Say hello to your mother for me. Oh, there's a guy down there. What's he got to say? Psst, Red, Peter, what are you doing? Me and Jenna are going to go chase Billy Harper's sheep. Want to come? Of course. Great. Meet us outside the village by the old sheep pen in ha half mark. Bye. Well, I guess I better go. Nothing bad could happen. Good morning, sir. Are you looking for the village? Yes. Is it far from here? Not far at all. Just up that way. Ren points towards the village. The ring the priestess gave her sparkles eerily in the darkness. My, that's a lovely ring you're wearing there. 
Ren puts her hand in her pocket. Say, for being such a kind dear, I would love to give you a gift. Wow, anything? Are you sure? For one more look at that beautiful ring, you can have anything. Well, that's out of, that's, that's out of order. If it means that much to you. Ren shows the stranger the priestess ring again, because she's an idiot. Yes, that is a beauty. Would not want to lose that. The stranger grabs Ren and puts a slave bracelet on her wrist. Let me go! What is the meaning of this? Do not play games with me, priestess. I know who you are. My master sends his regards. Priestess? I'm not a priestess. Who are you? Tsk, tsk! I am a slave trader. You cannot fool me. I recognize your ring. It's not my ring. Right. You're going to tell me you borrowed it? A priestess would never take off her guardian ring. Even I know that. Well, er, take off the slave bracelet or I'll, I'll blast you with holy power. <laughs> yeah. Ha ha ha. How is that bracelet fitting, my dear? Snug, I hope. My pastor assured me that with that on, your powers would be useless. Time for you to face your new destiny as a slave. <laughs> no. What? What kind of bag does he have? He can throw me in it. Oh, unfortunate. Red is put on a ship and taken to the Eastern Isles where the slave trade is flourishing. Wow. What a straight path we just took. How very effective. In the Eastern city of Galara, Ren is sold as a slave. Her belongings are slip stripped from her, all but the slave bracelet. Three months later. I swear it was longer. It's only three months? Chore list. Get Lars's clothes from the tailor. Kill spiders in the attic. Look at this beautiful sack I'm wearing. My darling son Lars got accepted into Shadowwood Academy for the gifted. He's going to be a sorcerer. The emissaries are coming to pick him up tomorrow. Stop dragging your feet, slave. Go do your chores. Well, I'm going to kill these damn spiders. Ooh, books. Proper slave etiquette. The Arishta Isles include the Eastern, Western, Northern, and Southern Isles. Galara is located on the Eastern Isle. A little bit of geography, apparently. Time to die, spider! Me too. Yes. <laughs> I don't have any skills, right? No. Ouch. This is a resilient spider, man. It is taking quite a beating, and it is fighting back hard. Like, what kind of spider is this? I never want to meet it in my whole life. Dude, this spider just took off half of my life. Hey, I got money. Well, I'm gonna go sleep. Because that spider literally took off my half of my life. Oh, look how cute I am when I sleep. Eh. 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 Time to die, other spider! Do I level up from this? I would love to level up from this, because, like, these spiders are murdering me a little bit. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. I thought it was going to die. Get wrecked to direct. All right. Last time. Also, they don't explicitly tell you that you can, like, get items from searching on the corpse. That's just something that I figured out that I know of. But unless I missed it, it doesn't ever tell you that. As long as it doesn't do eight damage to me. And I go first. Please die, spider. Please. Yay! Oh. Most monsters have golden items hidden on them. You can use gold to buy things. You okay, so there you go. Yeah, it tells me I can use the bread to heal myself, but I don't see why I would do that now when I can literally just sleep. So much easier. Okay, so now we gotta get Lars's clothes. But first, we gotta go see this little bitch Lars, okay? We gotta go find him. 
And look, another slave. Ren, Ren, do you think we will ever be free? I wish it was so. Wow, that's depressing. The door is locked, okay. Talvar won't speak to us. Awesome. Who's this bitch? That boy Lars is always creating trouble. He treats the slaves terribly. Tell me about it. Doors locked. Why don't anybody have their doors unlocked? Each year, the emissaries from Shadowwood Academy for the Gifted come to collect children who can learn magic. Apparently Lars. If only I were free. Dude, so depressing. Let's see. Can I go into this house? I can. This person has their house unlocked. Don't speak to me, slave. Where are your manners? I'm going to fight all these guys. As slaves, we have no rights. If only there were someone to change things. <coughs> Martin Luther King. I don't know about you guys, but I'm jamming out to this music. Hey, you old lady. Don't speak to me, slave. Where are your manners? Well, fight me, woman. Oh, I went the wrong way. There's clearly a path laid out for me, and I just decided not to take it. Also, that looks like a powwow over there. Ooh, this person also... Ooh, ooh, meat. Don't be mean to me. Have you seen my new silver ring? I bought it from a slave trader. I bet you that's my goddamn ring. Can I have it? Is it in a treasure chest? There it is. You see the ring that the priestess gave to you. The slave trade it, sold it to the noblewoman who lives in this villa. You think about stealing it, but decide not to. Holy shit. The, p the penalty for theft by a slave is death. Yo, I would have stolen that ring. Dude, that's intense. History of Galara. Okay, we don't get to know that. Travel the world in a thousand days. This is a big world if you can travel it in a thousand... If you can travel it in only a thousand days. You can travel uh, the world in 180 days. This world. I cannot talk to other slaves. My master will not allow it. Wow, that's rough. You should also steal her ring. Also, I love how Ren only has one ear pierced. And look at her piercing. It's gigantic. Like I said, she's such a badass. I love Ren so much. She's my hashtag woman across Kush Wednesday. Let's go talk to Lars. Let's see. I bet he's really nice to us. Like, we're totally BFFs because we're clearly around, like, the same age. Ugh, the slave's trying to talk to me. Ugh, the slave's trying to talk to me. I'm going to Shadowwood Academy to become a sorcerer.